Good morning and welcome to our High School Academic Awards program. I just want to welcome all of you who are watching, uh, whether it be students, families, or teachers. It's certainly a great uh, moment and time for us to stop and celebrate the academic achievements of our students. It is uh, going to be a little bit different today. We will not be all together. And we have, as a matter of convenience, uh, made videos for each grade level. And that way families could, could watch the grade levels that they choose to see their own children. Um, so you should see four separate videos available today and I hope that will make it a little bit more convenient for you. We are here to honor students who have dedicated their time and put a lot of effort into their schoolwork this year, and we certainly want to celebrate with them. Every time we have this program at the end of the year, I think of the verse in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, which says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord. And this means that we do work here on earth as if God were with us and if God were as if we were working for God. And these students they might not have thought that every day, but they've worked diligently, they've worked hard, and they have shown that they are doing work that could be for the Lord as they've worked in the classroom. And so we're proud of them and certainly want to celebrate their achievements today. As we begin, I have some special awards that I will present, uh, and then we will turn it over to the teachers to present the classroom awards. The first uh, set of awards that I will present is for those students who have been on the honor roll each of the four nine weeks this year. And so we will divide those up by grade. And what you will see on screen in a few moments is the students who earned this award. This means that they had A's or B's in all of their classes all year long in each of the four nine weeks. And we're proud of them at this time here are the names for those who have been on the honor roll all four nine weeks. Thank you to those students for their hard work this year. Our next group of students that we will uh, celebrate our students who have been on the honor roll or the principals list all four nine weeks. That means that at least one of those four nine weeks, they had all A's in all of their classes. And so we know again, this is an extra level of work that they have worked hard to achieve. And so the students who have earned honor roll or principals list all four nine weeks will be shown now. Our third group of recipients uh, for awards today are students who have been on the principals list all four nine weeks, which means they have made an A in every class in each of the four nine weeks all year. And I'm sure you know that this takes a lot of effort. Uh, some of the, these students are in AP and dual enrollment classes and other challenging classes, and we know that this is not easy for them to do. Uh, so we certainly want to celebrate with them. So the students who have earned principal's list all year long will now be presented. Again, congratulations to all those students in all three groups. Uh, for your academic achievements this year. Uh, again, just want to say we're very proud of you and, and grateful for the work that you have done in the classroom. There is also another set of students that we honor at this time, and those are students who have had perfect attendance this year. And we try to encourage attendance in, in various ways, and we know that uh, when students are at school, they are certainly more successful than when they are not able to be with us. So. We certainly want to honor students who have not missed a single day all year. This also includes uh, some policies related to tardies as well. So it means that they 
are not only present, but they are on time. So the students who have been here every day and have perfect attendance will be presented at this time. Occasionally, for perfect attendance, we have students who earn special recognition in this area. And we have one student today, uh, one senior, who has earned some special recognition, and we want to take time to honor them. We have one senior who has not missed a day of school, 7th through 12th grade, been present every single day, and in fact, in their time at National Christian School, kindergarten through 12th grade, according to our records, has only missed one day of school, which was in sixth grade when she got sick one time. And so definitely we want to honor this student. We're very proud of her for her dedication to being here each day. And we will present this certificate to Amber Bishop for her perfect attendance. Congratulations to her and, and again, I'm proud of her as her uncle and also proud of her as her principal. The final group of students that we want to honor, that I will honor this morning before I turn it over to the teachers, will be the students who have earned the right to be in the 30 Club. And these are students who have taken the ACT and have scored a 30 or higher on the ACT. We certainly want to celebrate with them, and we know this is something that they've worked hard for. Uh, we have some students who earned this honor last year, and so we want to recognize them again. Those students are Annie Brothers and Winston Zhu Yu. So we're very proud of them. They earned a 30 or higher last year. This year we will add one additional student to that list, and that is Katie Palmer. So congratulations, Katie. Congratulations, Annie and Winston, and we're grateful for all of your work. Uh, we can see how hard you have worked based on the level of achievement you have been able to gain in the, in the ACT test. So thank you for that. And at this time, I will turn it over to the teachers to present their classroom awards. Hello, I'm Ms. Bartlett, and I teach um, pre-calculus to a group of juniors and seniors this year. And I have two awards for the highest average. I had two people in this class that um, tied for the highest average and both of them have worked really, really hard. Um, one of them is a junior and one's a senior. So I'm just going to give out the juniors award right now. Um, but for the highest average in pre-calculus goes to Julia Thompson. Congratulations, Julia. Hi, this is Miss Harper. I teach English 3 um, Dual Enrollment Honors English, and the award for highest average on B-Days, uh, for the group that meets on B-Days this year, goes to Reagan Travis, and on um, A-Days, the highest average in that group goes to Lindley Page. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you for all your hard work this year. Hi, I'm Mr. Atkins, and I'm here to give an award for English 3. Uh, this award is for the highest grade throughout the year and the winner of the English 3 award this year is Jake Frejean. Congratulations Jake, good work. For the psychology award, the high average goes to Erica Van Tassel. Congratulations Erica. My name is Jerry Morrison. I'm the IT director and technology teacher here at Nashville Christian School. My 11th grade technology award goes to Cole Stevens. Uh, Cole this year was great to have in class. Um, we learned a lot about Linux this year in our tech class and uh, Cole jumped right in and took on a lot of projects um, on his own time uh, to uh, explore and tweak and mess around with Linux on his own personal computers. And um, so for that reason, Cole, you get my 11th grade award. Congratulations. A Bible award is different than a traditional academic award. Not only do we take academics into account, but also 
consider the person, how they grow spiritually, the type of person that they are to other people, how they treat both their friends and their enemies. So this year, the Bible award for my A2 class goes to Ella Callahan. Ella is an incredibly bright young lady, but also caring and loving towards all that she comes in contact with and is a great Christian example. Congratulations, Ella. Good morning. This is Miss Shivers, and I'm sad that I can't be with you all on Awards Day, but I've always loved Awards Day where um, we can help celebrate with you. And unfortunately, I won't be able to see your faces or the faces of your parents and, the, and your classmates who are also very proud of you. So this year, one of my classes is Algebra 2, and my highest average for Algebra 2 goes to Giovanni Donegan. And congratulations, Giovanni. You've worked hard all year long, and you haven't missed a beat with the online learning, which is great. Um, I also want to put a big shout out to a young man who I had to actually create an award for, and that is my most dedicated learner. Um, Harris Adams, I am so proud of you and how far that you have come in math this year. You have been relentless in your uh, working with me to better yourself in this subject, and I'm so proud of how far you've come. So again, my most dedicated learner for Algebra 2 goes to Harris Adams. Congratulations. I also wanted to give a shout out to my dual enrollment pre calc class. While Nolan got the highest average, I'm so proud of how dedicated you guys are in your learning, and I'm sorry that we've missed the end of the year together, but good luck next year in your senior year, and I love you all. Bye. I take great pride in presenting the Junior Bible Award for those in my junior class. The first award, again, I've had a tie there uh, with their grades and their attitudes and all, so I've given it to two people, uh, Beth Hoyt. Uh, I have told you, Bet, all along that you're the greatest reader I've ever had in, in a classroom. Your reading is so clear. Uh, but the truth is you're one of the greatest uh, people that I've had in the classroom. You're so sweet and so so uh, so perfect for our class. And you're a young lady that I'm very proud of. And your grades actually is what got you this award. So I'm very proud of your Bible knowledge also. Thank you, Bet. And our uh, other young lady, Julie Thompson. Julie, I... Uh, so proud of you. I've loved you for a few years since you played ball for me years ago, and 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 you're a special young lady with a great sense of humor. Uh, you've helped balance out uh, the other two of your threesome in there, but really you've kept under control Harris, and, and everybody in our class appreciates that, and uh, we love you, Julie. You know I love you, and thank you for being such a great Bible student. God bless you. This is Mrs. Arnold, and I'll be presenting for Ecology. This year, this student has been able to maintain an exceptionally high average, often over 100%, and has also just been a light and a joy in the classroom, uh, bringing humor to our daily class. And I'd like to award this year's Ecology Award to Jake Frijan. Hi, I'm Donna Torres and I teach Art 1, Art 2, Art 3, and Art 4. I'm here to give the Art 3 award. This award goes to a young lady who is extremely talented. It seems like everything she picks up, she turns into a piece of artwork somehow. Um, the other students voted on this award, which makes it even more special. She also this year won an award at the Scholastic Art Show at Cheekwood. She won an honorable mention, which is a big deal. And last year she won a bunch of awards in the art show. She also won Best of Show. So congratulations, Bet Hoyt. You're still winning awards. Congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Coach Casey, the Fine Arts Director here at NCS. This year's theater arts class is on its second year in a four track rotation. Last year was focused specifically on acting and this year's focus was on design and the design process. The students spent the first three semesters researching, budgeting, shopping, and designing in groups, lighting, set, prop, costume, makeup, and sound. 
In the final semester, each student chose a movie or a stage show and designed the entire project. Our highest average in that class goes to Sarah Hendricks. Congratulations, Sarah. Hi, I'm Katie Scholl and I teach US history and AP US history here at Nashville Christian. Today I'll be presenting awards for the highest average in each of my classes. Starting with US history, my first award goes to Abby Elmy. Abby has worked so hard over the course of the year. She was really creative with her assignments or her projects and she really participated in our class discussions. I have loved having her in my class and I've loved getting to know her. My second award goes to Lindley Page. Lindley started off this year strong and she never looked back. She has such a great work ethic and would always turn in assignments early or took advantage of extra credit even though she really didn't need to. She went above and beyond with her projects and put out amazing work. I'm really proud of everything that both of these ladies have accomplished. Now for your AP US history. For this class, we actually had a tie for the highest average and I'm really happy to be presenting the highest average award for a push to both Annie Brothers and Reagan Travis. Annie turned in excellent work throughout the entire year. Even on more difficult assignments, Annie handled them with ease. She was also very creative in some of her assignments and put in 100% effort into her work. Reagan also gave me 100% in class participation and energy. She was active in class discussions and always had a really strong work ethic. She was particularly strong in her writing assignments throughout the year, which is impressive alone, but especially so considering that this is often considered to be one of the most difficult parts of this course. Congratulations to everyone on their well-deserved awards. Hi, I'm Kathleen Lowe, giving awards to Spanish too. I have three classes. I'm proud of all you students. You did so well to um, continue developing your Spanish skills coming from Spanish 1 and now concluding Spanish 2, speaking multiple tenses. And so I appreciate your hard work both in the classroom and now in remote learning. I have two academic awards. One goes to sophomore Jaden Bushman. Excellent job, Jaden. And the second to junior Darian Liss. Thank you, Darian, for all your hard work. Um, you both excelled academically, and I hope you'll continue on to Spanish 3 and keep using those language skills. Um, Y'all have a great summer, and I'll see you next year. Giving the award for Spanish 4 honors. These students have learned pretty much everything there is to know about the Spanish language, uh, grammar-wise, as well as read two novels. So I appreciate all your hard work, guys, and I know it hasn't been easy both in the classroom and now in remote learning. You've shown excellence, um, and two students really stood out amongst that, um, having the highest academic averages. These awards go to Annie Brothers. Great job, Annie, and Aubrey Page. Well done, Aubrey. And so I, again, appreciate all your hard work and hope that you'll continue using this beyond high school um, in your future studies. Have a great summer. See you next year. Hi, guys. It's Coach Copeland. I'm announcing the Personal Finance Award for this year. I would like to commend these two students for their outstanding performance this year in the classroom. So let's give a round of applause for Adam Harper and Olivia Martin. Good job, guys. Let's go, Eagles. Not only did this student do incredibly well with the assignments that were given in class, but more importantly, they're willing to be vocal in the classroom. Their honesty and transparency created a sense of true relationship amongst their peers. So with that being said, I would like to honor Annie Brothers with the Character of Excellence Award for her junior year Bible class in the 2019-2020 school year. Congratulations, Annie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Vore, and I'm here to announce the recipients for outstanding academic achievement in both anatomy and physiology, that's one class, and advanced placement biology, AP Bio. And our first class, anatomy, I'll just call it, we have our first recipient is Adam Harper. Again, we'll play, uh, we'll wait for all the applause to die down. And then our second award goes to Leah Bowker. Both of them get achievement awards for outstanding academic work. Thank you. Appreciate your hard work. Now we have AP Bio. This was really hard because the people in AP Bio mostly have really high grades. They got a lot of overachievers in there. And uh, when you really come down and when all the dust settled, two people tied for first place. They both had a 99.75% average throughout the entire year. 
including distance learning time. And those awards go to, in alphabetical order, Annie Brothers and Lindley Page. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for doing such fine work. I appreciate it. And all you parents should be very proud. Thank you. Just want to thank all of you for taking the time to view and, and be part of our academic awards program this morning. I want to thank the teachers uh, for their part and the words that they've had to say this morning. I also want to take special time to thank one of our teachers uh, who has been here for quite some time and will not be returning next year. I just want to say a special thank you to Ms. Shivers who will be leaving to teach overseas next year and certainly we want to be mindful of her as she does that. This has uh, kind of been a dream of hers and we're happy that she gets to enjoy that, but also sad uh, that she will not be with us anymore. Ms. Shivers was here before I came as the principal. I believe this is her 14th year here as a teacher, and we certainly uh, enjoy or have enjoyed um, all the parts that she's played on our campus for the last 14 years. And we know that she has made a lasting impact on our campus and on our students. I just want to say a special thank you to her uh, for her knowledge of math. Uh, we, we are analytical and I appreciate her. I just want to say thank you and we will miss you next year. To all of the rest of you, I just want to say thank you again for, for being part of this program and I hope you have a great rest of the week.